the biggest number one thing that I hear every day. I get people messaging me and their reason is for not investing in property at the minute is the interest rates. They say, I'm not investing at the minute because the interest rates are too high or I'm going to wait until the interest rates drop before I buy my first buy to let property. Now, when I hear this, I just want to scream at the person and just offer this some advice and tell them that I'm back. Now, I know it's been a while since I last uploaded a YouTube video. Reasons are I've been extremely busy. You, you may have noticed that I've launched my Instagram account and that's been going really, really well. At the minute, we're up to nearly 8,000 followers, I think, which is great. We've also been helping out people with their property investments, helping people to get started in property, helping them to build portfolios. I have mentees, I have academy members, so really, really busy the last few months. And the thing with YouTube is, these videos take a long time to create. Not only the content, the videoing, the filming, but also the editing, um, the thumbnails and things like that. So forgive me for not posting anything for a while. I do have good intentions on building this YouTube channel, putting regular content out there. And something that I've learned in the last few years is the more advice, the more knowledge that I can spread, that I can give to people, the more fruitful the rewards. So it is my intention to keep posting videos, so hopefully I'll be able to get into a good routine where I can upload content more regular. Now back to the video. One thing that has changed quite drastically since the last time I published a video is the interest rates. Now we all know that interest rates have risen quite sharply over the past few months. Obviously this has had a big impact on property investments, mortgages, and things like that. So in this video, I'm going to drill down on some of the points, some of the things that a lot of people are getting wrong, um, a lot of misconceptions when it comes to interest rates and buy to let property. So what I'm going to do is the biggest number one thing that I hear every day, I get people messaging me and their reason is for not investing at property at the minute is the interest rates. They say I'm not investing at the minute because the interest rates are too high or I'm going to wait until the interest rates drop before I buy my first buy to let property. Now, when I hear this, I just want to scream at the person and just offer this some advice and tell them that basing your decision purely on interest rates is just not a wise decision. People that do this probably lack the knowledge, lack the experience, which is absolutely fine. And that's why I've created this video to hopefully get the point across to people, especially newbies in property, that everything's not based around interest rates. You shouldn't make your financial um, investments decisions purely on what the Bank of England's base rate is or mortgage rates are. So... When people come to me and say, I'm not investing in property because of the interest rates, I say to them, well, interest rates will always change, okay? They're variable. So let's say that you purchased a property two years ago when interest rates were ultra low and you got a mortgage rate of 2%, which you thought was great. What would you do now in this situation? Because the chances are you would have been on a two-year or five-year fixed mortgage. Therefore, when that fixed term ends, you're going to be put on the higher rate, which the rates that are available today. So what would you do in that situation? Now, just because you invested and bought the property when, when interest rates were low, doesn't mean that an interest rate is going to stay low forever. So firstly, that one gets some thinking. Then I go on to my next point, which is, we've seen the interest rates go up quite significantly, but we've also seen rents go up quite significantly. Now, when I put the numbers together, when I'm assessing a property, a new deal, I found that the profit margins are still very, very similar as they were two, three, four years ago. Yes, the monthly mortgage payments may have gone up by 150, 200 pounds per month. However, so have the rents. Rental demand is huge at the minute. So many people are renting. The cost to rent has gone up, as has everything else obviously due to inflation. So when you're basing your decision purely on the interest rates, you've also got to think of the other variables that come into account, such as the rents, such as property prices, because again, people are fearful. And when people are fearful, they tend not to buy, they tend to take a step back. So we have seen recently that the property prices have fallen a little, or if they haven't fallen, there's definitely less competition as there was a couple of years ago. And again, that's purely down to the interest rates. So to summarize, if you are one of these people that think you're not gonna invest in property purely because the interest rates are higher, firstly, you should be thinking about the bigger picture. Interest rates will always change. You're probably gonna hold on to that property for 30 odd years. Do you really think you're gonna be paying 2% uh, 
interest rate every month for 30 years. No, you're not. Also, if you were to buy now when interest rates are higher, at around 6%, then do you not think that you will probably get that property a bit easier? You've got a better chance of getting the property at a lower price. Also, do you not think it's a good time to secure a tenant paying a good rental amount, probably the highest rent that we've ever seen. Well, it is the highest rent that we've ever seen. So do you not think it would be a good idea to acquire a property a bit cheaper than it normally would be? Get a tenant in who's paying the highest rental amount that we've ever seen. Then if or when rates do drop a little or they do drop significantly, you're gonna be left with a really nice cash flowing asset. Your profit margins are gonna increase and the chances are when rates do go back down, the property prices will go up even more. So then you've gained capital appreciation. So I hope that this quick video has made you realize that not everything is about interest rates. You have to look at the bigger picture. You have to look at the other variables involved in property investing. For me, I'm not put off by interest rates. I'm still actively investing, actively searching for properties. And it's something that I recommend to people that come to me for help. Now, as I said at the beginning, I'm going to be putting a lot more content out there. I'm going to be adding more videos to my YouTube channel. Um, it'd be great to hear your thoughts. So if you have any thoughts on what I've just been talking about regarding interest rates, please put them in the comments below. Also, if there's any other topics you want me to cover, again, just get in contact with me. You can message me on Instagram, DM me on there. That's probably the best way, easiest way to get in touch with me. If you're currently looking at getting into property, but you feel a bit stuck, um, uncertain, you have a few doubts, then again, drop me a DM on Instagram and I'll happily help you out. And also at the time of making this video, the last Bank of England interest rate um, announcement, they actually froze the rates and I think that they will keep them that way for a while now. I think that we've come to a point where interest rates will remain the same for a while. We are seeing inflation drop a little bit. Um, I think that will continue once the higher interest rates have filtered through to people's um, personal mortgages, loans and things like that. So my personal opinion is rates will remain the same for a while. Then possibly they will fall a bit, maybe next year, year after. But again, that's just my opinion. So don't hold me to that. But regardless of what the rates do, I'll still be actively invested in property and I hope you do too.